Good evening, afternoon, morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Allure box for September 2020. Uh, many of you may already know Allure uh, is $15 a month. However, as of um, October's box, the price will be going up to $23. Uh, they are supposed to have I think close to eight items in the bag and in the box and a lot more full-size items so uh, we'll see how it is I did get an email in regards to going up to the year and getting it for 165 um, but I'm gonna stick around with it and we're gonna see what it's like and we're gonna keep reviewing it for them so that they uh, we can see how it goes. So I'm excited for the next year to come to see how this box is going to be. Um, I don't know if the box itself is changing. I really like how sturdy these boxes are. They make good storage boxes or for giveaway boxes. They work beautiful. Uh, and as we all know, on the inside, it looks just like this. There's always a beautiful girl on the cover. Uh, I also subscribe to Allure Magazine, and it's a really good magazine as well. Um, and then this is what she looks like inside. We'll just take a quick peek. And we will get into it and we'll start in the book. So they have exclusive uh, promo codes inside. Then there's always something that may be a bonus item in the box, which I do see it in there on the back that's not included in the products that they give you. So the first thing we're gonna start with here is the, and I haven't tried this yet and I'm looking forward to it, I don't have this. This is the Wonder Beauty Unlashed Mascara. Uh, this goes for $24. I am guessing this is the full size. It's showing in the picture the same size. So yes, this is a full size item. Um, the first the editor who said here she said i first tried this mascara in 2017 the year it won an allure um, best of beauty awards i still hoard every tube i can get my hands on when i reach for mascara i want drama i look for a formula that darkens thickens lengthens and holds a curl all day unlash does all of this without clumping or flaking even when i go to town by layering it five to six times which is good because i hate that when you get a mascara and you go to layer it because you want a little deeper more dramatic look and then it starts to clump i hate that so we'll see i hope this works it says um it doesn't claim to be long wearing but i've worked out in it without any running or smudging so that's good we'll see how that is hold on just a second i've got a little notification there sorry about that so we've got that mascara which um it's cool that it's all uh so all of these things it looks like except one item are the best of beauty allure um a, well a couple items are the best of beauty allure winners a few of them are so next we're gonna go ahead in here and this is obviously not the full size this is uh la roche pose uh spf and thilios 50 ultralight sunscreen fluid so i guess it's like a fluid of course i'm not going to need this much longer <laughs> anymore because it's michigan and we're in september and it's starting to get cold but I'll be able to pack that in my bag when I go in uh, uh, April down to Disney. So um, it says here, sunscreen does everything it should, blends in on all skin tones, offers broad spectrum protection, and then some. Usually the best thing you can say about the feel and look of a sunscreen is that it's not greasy, but this is a rare formula that actually makes my skin noticeably softer and smoother after I put it on. This is even more impressive considering that it's a mineral formula with zinc and titanium dioxide. Perfect for me as a nursing mom. And that is the uh, Elizabeth Siegel. She's the deputy beauty director of Allure. Uh, and the full size is $33.50. And then there's always at the bottom here, there's always a discount code. So you can go back in if you like it and go purchase it and get a discount on it. I'm curious just to see. Let's go into it and see here. Out of curiosity no safety seal but that's okay put a little bit on my skin here it looks like your typical um, it's a fluid 
it's not like you know how some sunscreens are creamy that's like see how it's starting to run down my hand so it's more or less like a fluid so we'll rub that in and it seems to not be white that much a little bit and it's got kind of like a light scent so it's like a, it doesn't have like that sunscreen scent you know like a like copper tone or trop trop uh, uh, Tropicana's orange juice. What the hell am I talking about? Anyways, like Copper Tone or one of those um, sunscreens. So that's good. Uh, next up, we have Elemis, the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Um, I've only had one other Elemis product that I know of in all of my time being. So this, I'm like looking forward to trying this. So this is so as I thought I knew how to remove my makeup, but now I'm rethinking all the scrubbing I used to go through the Game Changer, this cult classic cleansing balm. I start by warming the hydrating, hydrating algae and shea butter formula between my fingertips until it becomes an oil. Then I gently massage it over my face with water. The balm transforms into a milky cleanser and I can see my makeup melting, melting away. You can simply rinse with several splashes of water, but I prefer to wipe everything off with a damp, warm washcloth. Not only does it whisk away grime, this balm also, also moisturizes with nine essential oils. So that sounds interesting. Let's take the top off of this and take a peek at it. So it is a balm and it smells really good. It smells, I'm kind of picking up a lavender scent. So it'd be interesting to see the uh, list of that, but oh yeah. That smells really good. And yeah, it's like a little balm. You can't really see it. Rub it in. It smells really good. That's going to be really nice. It's almost like a like a toss between lavender and citrus. So I really like that. Uh, next, we have an e.l.f. makeup brush. Ooh, cool. I'm glad I got this one. Okay, so you had your choice between the NYX Pro Contour Brush or the e.l.f. Highlighting Brush. So this is the e.l.f. Highlighting Brush. Uh, and this is $4. And again, I should have added up what the value of this box is, but I'm looking forward to trying this. I've always wanted here. Let's, let's open it up. Let's see. You know, Elf brushes is kind of like your drugstore brand. So, and I don't have any issues with those. Ooh, that feels nice. I like the way that the brush feels and the bristles. That's a really nice, smooth, soft. It, it would be a really nice contouring cool or uh guys guys my brain <laughs> i have eight work days in a row coming up so that's why i'm like this but yeah a nice highlighting brush so yeah um i'm not a big fan of the fan brushes believe it or not i've had a dislike for them just recently um oh and this is a cruel cruelty free brush and vegan so that's cool see it's got the little cruelty free, free and vegan and next on our list I really love this box I decided and I made that I'm not getting rid of it no matter what price goes up big deal I'll pay for a year so I can get it cheaper but I like this because there's such a variety of things and things that I would never think of trying in here um, oops, I got this all wet now. This is the, the next is the Clio Noir Twist Up Eyeliner in Purple. Ooh, eyeliner has, and this is $18. And I'm guessing that this is the full size of the eyeliner. It's, it's got to be the full size. And it says, eyeliner has been a must in my makeup routine since I was 13. I loved outlining my eyes in black and then gently smudging the bottoms and tops a trick i learned from one of my dominican homegirls from corona queens for years i mostly used black eyeliner because the the available color options weren't ideal for girls with medium brown skin tones like mine thankfully things have changed now i wear a lot of color cleo noir's purple liner has a buttery smooth formula and a beautiful violet tone it's something you notice on second look plus it's got some sparkle which is perfect for a smoky night look 
You can also wear it during the day. For me, glitter is a neutral. And then it also gives, I've never heard of Cleo Noir. Um, I will do some research and see and learn. I like to learn about new products and I'm sure there's information about this in my um, Allura magazine. Ooh, I like that. That's, look at that. I like pencils like that. And then it's got the band of color at the bottom there, you can see. So it's just your normal twist up. And then let's swatch her. Let me pull that down a little so I don't break the tip off. That is a buttery, smooth, nice liner. That's a very pretty color. I like purples, especially fall time. Purple works good for me. And let's see, what else do we have in here? So we have the usual face mask. Ooh, okay. So I was joking around with a friend of mine because I said, ooh, I may get a sake mask. And he was like, just don't drink it. Don't drink the mask. <laughs> I got the sake mask. <laughs> this is the Glam Up Revitalizing Japanese Sake Sheet Mask. In this sheet mask, Glam Up pairs aloe leaf extract with its namesake ingredient, sake. The fermented boozy sushi bar favorite is also great for brightening skin. Wow, who would have known? <laughs> I never knew that. One use of this mask didn't make my dark spots totally disappear, but it did erase the general dullness that plagues my dry skin. I followed the directions on the packet to snip off the bottom corner and then with ease to squeeze out every last drop of mask juice. I patted the extra essence onto my cheeks and then down my neck to spread the brightening goodness. Cheers to that. Uh, this is, the price for this is actually $9.98 for 10 masks. So that's a really good price for that. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, the other choice was the Glam Up Soothing Aloe Sheet Mask. So we'll see how this does. And I promise I won't drink. <laughs> Uh, and the last thing um, it shows on here, um, it looks like you get your, you get a choice. You may have gotten a choice. I'm not sure if anybody um, has, but it shows waterless uh, and it's dry conditioner, weight, dry conditioner, weightless, smooth. Um, yeah. So... You know, dry shampoo, meet dry conditioner, just shake, shake, spritz, smooth, uh, instantly soft and smooth hairs on days you don't want to wash. So that'll be fun to try. I have, um, I think it's Oribe and it, it's a dry conditioner that I like to use too, but I'll try this one as well. And that was just a little bonus thing that they snuck in the box. It's on the back. So if any of you have tried that, let me know, or if you've gotten your box and you've used it and you tried it, let me know how you like it. I think I'll like it. Um, my hair will love me for it, probably. So all in all, it was a very good box. I'm hip for skincare. There's there's uh, the skincare balanced the makeup kind of this month. We had the mascara, the eyeliner, and then the brush, which is a makeup brush. So that's three items. And then there was, um, the mask, the sunscreen, and the Elemis balm. So that's three and three. So three makeup, three skincare. I like a balance like that and then a hair care. But uh, yeah, a balance like that is nice to have. So again, um, I got in the box and this was all for $15, the Revitalizing Japanese Sake Mask, the Weightless Waterless Dry Conditioner, the Clio Noir Purple Twist Up Eyeliner, the e.l.f. Highlighting Brush, the Elemis Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm, the La Roche-Posay Anthelios Mineral Sunscreen, and then the Unlashed Wander Beauty Mascara. Okay, I need to look at this real quick just for, oh, another curved brush, loves curved brushes. All right. That piqued my curiosity. I'm looking forward to trying that. So let me know down below um, how you liked your box, if you've used any of the products, how they worked for you. We all, different products work differently for each other. 
um, and tell me if you're going to keep getting a lure or you're going to stop or you're going to wait a couple boxes to see what it's all about and will it be worth it in the end. Um, and that's all I've got for you. Remember to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Um, it really helps my channel hit that notification bell so you can get notifications of when I'm going to come on board. Let me know if you like premiere videos so we can chat back and forth. I'd really like to get a, to know a lot of my subscribers. There's 85 of you plus on here now and I would really like to get to know you. Let me know what are good times, when you would like me to come on, when we can chat and, and about different things. So uh, have a wonderful week. Um, if you're and if you're working, if you're not working, if you're doing something different, uh, everybody stay safe, stay well, and we'll see you next time. Bye.